Hello everyone, it's Kim again. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be filming the Cold Start Instant Pot Greek Yogurt. Um, I did include this in one of my meal prep videos, but I have been asked several times to do a standalone video and do a little more explanation on how I do it. So today I thought I would just go ahead and throw that together. Um, this does take eight hours for the first part. So this is not a really quick process. So you're gonna start off with two ingredients, which I think you might be able to see behind me. Um, you're going to have the, I'll just put a picture in here. Um, you're gonna have the Fairlife Ultra Pasteurized Milk. And then you're going to have a container of yogurt that has active cultures. And I'm gonna throw a snippet here in to show you what that looks like and to show you, I was kind of shocked because I had checked two different name brands and one contains active live cultures and the other one surprisingly does not. So I'll, like I said, I'll put that here so you can see what that looks like. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Um, again, I've been making this, this is probably my third or fourth batch. It is delicious. If you like Greek yogurt, but you really don't like the tanginess of the Greek yogurt, this is what you want to do. If you have an Instant Pot, give this a try because I'm telling you, it's going to change you on how you think about yogurt. Um, I really prefer this yogurt based on anything that I have bought yet. So I hope you give this a try. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started making our yogurt, I just wanted to kind of call one thing to your attention. I don't know if I've brought this up in my videos before, but when you have an Instant Pot and you make a variety of items in that Instant Pot, your ring, the ring here that, um, I'll just pull it off because I'm gonna have to pull it off anyway. The ring that is your sealing ring in your Instant Pot will pick up some of the flavors that you cook with. So I have this ring here, which is my savory ring. That's kind of what I call it because when I'm making things that have barbecue sauce, onions, um, garlic, I will use this ring. Now, I purchased a second ring from Amazon and it's here. And I use this one specifically for my yogurt and for um, if I ever decide to make a cheesecake or anything like that. So I use this one specifically for just the sweet, um, non-savory items. So I'm just going to pop this back in here. Um, they usually go in really quick. I've never done it with it sitting down. I've always picked up the thing, but I'll see if I can get it on so you can just watch. And voila. I always kind of give it a little tug to make sure that it's all the way around, um, looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and get our ingredients in for our yogurt. Now, when I make this, I always say I'm making Greek yogurt because I like my yogurt a little thicker. Um, you can just make this and stir it when it's done and not drain it and have a creamier, um, less thick yogurt but again, I prefer the thicker yogurt. So I have, like I um, put the picture in earlier, the Fairlife Fat-Free Ultra Filtered Milk. Um, this one, I find, makes the best yogurt. I tried to do it with other milks. I tried to do it with regular skim milk. I tried a skim milk. I tried a name brand skim milk, so a store-bought name brand. Um, none of them seem to give the yield of the yogurt that I was looking for and when I um after the eight hours I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about so I'm just pouring in that entire container there 
And the next thing we're going to do is I have this container of original Greek yogurt. I'm just using the vanilla. It does not affect the points at all. Oh, did I mention zero smart points for your yogurt? Um, just because I'm using the small amount of the Greek yogurt doesn't change the points at all. So you're still looking at zero points for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this container, which I guess I should have done before we got started. And it says in the original recipe to go ahead and use two tablespoons of the yogurt. Well, I really am not gonna eat this yogurt today, so I'm just dumping the whole thing in here. So it doesn't affect it at all. I've done this before and looks good. So we're just gonna whisk that in, just to make sure that yogurt's incorporated. All right, that's done. Now here comes the hard part. You guys knew there had to be a hard part, right? So I'm gonna set the lid on, and it always sings you a little tune. And then I'm going to lock it. Now, it says you don't have to worry about the sealing on this, but I always feel better if it's sealed, and I think that's just a personal preference. So I'm going to pause it right here. I'm going to take you off my tripod, and then we'll finish the first portion of the recipe. Okay, so I have you off my tripod, and now we're going to get to the hard part. So are you ready? We've got our milk in there. We have our container of yogurt in there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the yogurt button. You see that it does say eight hours. If you wanted this yogurt tangier, you could up the time by pressing the adjust buttons to nine hours or 10 hours. I'm gonna leave mine at eight. And in just a second, it is going to flash and say yogurt. And then, there you go. So I guess it just said yogurt when we pressed the button. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to wait for eight hours and then we're going to open it up and then we will throw it into the strainer. So I will come back to you then and we'll talk about the next step. Okay, it's been about eight hours, maybe a little more, um, our yogurt is done. So we're gonna open it up and take a look and see what we have. So I'm pulling the lid off and we're gonna do the test. Hopefully it worked. And bingo, bango, it sure did. Yay! So our next step on this is you can see that it is, it's, it's nice and creamy at this point. But again, like I had said before, I really like my yogurt a little more um, thick. So we're gonna pull it out of the Instant Pot and we're gonna put it in our drainer. I'll take a picture of my box of my strainer and insert it here. And then I'm just gonna pull that out and we're going to pour our yogurt into the strainer and I'm gonna throw it in the fridge. So hopefully you can always the hard part of trying to figure out how to, oh, almost made a big old mess there. Let's really pull that out. Just gonna scrape the rest off the bottom here. So that's already starting to drip into the bottom. Now what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to take a small container and I am going to place some of this yogurt into a container and use it for the starter for my next batch. So instead of me having to get another container of yogurt, I can use this container as the starter batch with my milk. 
and then all I'll have to do is buy my milk from this point forward. So I'm going to throw a lid on here and then I will take you off of the tripod and show you what this looks like when it drips, so hang tight. So as you can see, that is the whey dripping off the yogurt. And when I get up in the morning, it will be nice and thick and creamy and I can enjoy it. All right, before I flip my Greek yogurt over to get it out of the strainer, I thought I would show you all of the whey that drained off of there. So that's quite a bit. Sorry, it's probably a, it's a little better for you. So okay, let's get this out of there and get it into a bowl and then I will head off to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the top off. And you can see our young, yummy, yummy yogurt. So I have found that if I just put the top here and grab the yogurt, camera and I just flip it and it comes right out of the strainer and there we go how's that they say voila Greek yogurt so I'm going to transfer that over into a bowl and use it throughout the week I hope that you give this recipe a try it is super delicious um, let me know in the comments if you do try it here's a little closer look there for you Sorry, my lighting is off. It's kind of dark in here because it's only 6 o'clock in the morning. But like I said, go ahead, give this a try. It's super yummy. Um, have a great day. We'll see you next video. Bye.